Alrighty, two birds. We're gonna change things up today. I think we've done enough Dom, or not Dom, enough uh, Neo for a little while. So we're gonna do this uh, event they put up today called the Sealed Ravnica Mixer. I guess this is gonna be the day after they put it up when this video goes live. But uh, yeah, it's three packs of Ravnica Allegiance and three packs of Ravnica something. I don't remember. So it's not like full Ravnica, um, but. It's kind of this hybrid format. Anyway, it is a sealed event. It is expensive. This is like the normal price of the uh, the sealed. So it's 2,000 gems to enter. And then I think you need to get like five or six wins out of a potential seven to get your entry fee back. We did open one of the better cards in this format, though. The Ethereal Absolution is just absolutely bonkers. I recall that card. Um, a lot of green and white here as well. I don't recall camaraderie being that good, but it is powerful. Um, anyways, yeah. We're going to do a little sealed. I hate the sealed deck builder, but uh, that's the way it's going to be. So for sealed, what I normally do, just as a refresher, is just go through the colors, pull out every single playable card, and then look... Um, look from there once we play it all or pull out all the playables what colors pair the best what colors are the deepest what has the most bombs uh although looking at white i can already tell it is probably unplayable super shallow not much going on but remember this is ravnica so there are probably a bunch of dual lands that we get yeah as we see here orzov guild gate two demir guild gates Gruel Guild Gate, Stomping Ground, Golgari Guild Gate, some lockets I think we saw. Yeah, a bunch of lockets. And then like a Gateway Plaza and whatnot. So, is a lot of multicolor shenanigans going on here. Um, but yeah, we'll go ahead and just pull out all the best cards. Any cards that's basically playable. Even if maybe they're not great playables to start. Uh, this is the format with Surveil. I don't recall Dazzling Lights being all that impressive, but you never know. 3 mana, 3, 2, probably not. Oh, this card was sweet, wasn't it? Yeah, this card was awesome. It was very slow, but it was uh, like it, it filtered your draws, and then eventually you swap control of it with something else, so you could actually steal a bomb or whatever. Oh, some pretty good flyers there. Okay. Dead weight. Grotesque. That's a good one. Afterlife cards. Some burn here we have. Skewer the Critics is decent. Scorch Mark, but it looks like red's pretty, yeah. Red's pretty weak. So probably not going to be playing any red unless the multicolors in red are really good. Um, Beetle's fine. Oh, this was always good. The 2 mana 2-2 two, two that turned into a 6-6 six, six because of the adapt. 3-4. This is a card draw engine. Kind of. Alright, a lot of multicolored cards. There's our Absolution. This card's good, but hard to cast. I mean, we're probably going to end up in some three-color nonsense. Would be my guess. As it's going to be pretty hard to go straight up two-color in this format. We have two Glaive of the Guild packs if we run a lot of gates. Probably not going to be the easiest thing to do, though, but... Yeah, this is... This is going to be messy, my friends. Maybe we are just some kind of like green-white splashing absolution in Skyguard. This one was really good too, right? Yeah, 3-3 three, three flying first strike creatures your opponent's control get minus 1, minus 0. If we splash black, we also get access to statue, which is really good. My blue is decent, though. I have a lot of good flyers and, like, Murmuring Mystic and whatnot. Just cut all these random red cards. Mm. But how much fixing do we have for those colors? Let's see. We have Orzov Guildgate, Golgari Guildgate, Gateway Plaza. That's probably good enough. Yeah. 
Yeah, I mean, the absolution is just kind of a bomb, so I think we're going to lean towards that and just try to cut the blue for now. But I do think blue is powerful in this. Uh, so let's see, what's filler? I think we end up cutting the majority of the black. Maybe we splash grotesque demise as well, and maybe the vindictive vampire is okay. Whenever another creature control dies, you will damage each opponent, you gain one life. Let's see, filler, filler. See, a lot of these are filler, 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 filler. <laughs> That's a blue card. Filler. Whenever a creature you control attacks alone. So this gives all this gives all of your creatures effectively exalted. This is filler here, right? Stuart, yeah. Creature count is 13. I guess the project's probably not great. Hmm. There are certainly a large number of quote-unquote filler cards, but maybe that's to be expected in this format. I mean, this is fine. It's like a 2-2 two, two for 2. Maybe we can splash the Azorius Skyguard if I have enough blue fixing. Uh, we don't. So if we're running... Well, we don't get any of these Demir Guild Gates. We get Golgari Guild Gate, Plaza, and Orzov Guild Gate. So that's three gates for, like, the Glaive. That's... Don't think that's worth it. I think the Vindictive Vampire makes sense. I mean, maybe we're supposed to go, like, a, a token-heavy theme. Maybe we are supposed to run, like, this Random Sworn Companions... 2-1-1 one, one life linkers for 3 mana. It's good with like the angelic exaltation. It's fine with absolution. Good with camaraderie. Yeah, I can see that being a thing. Um, I mean, if I'm splashing black, the panther's not like unplayable. It just doesn't seem good enough. Are we running this for more fixing? Probably not. The sealed deck builder is so bad. <laughs> Slesnia Locket looks like maybe okay as ramp and fixing and eventual card draw. Do I have another one? I have a Demir Locket. That's not good enough. Uh, What are we at? 22 cards. Do I have any more ways to draw cards in Abzan? I guess the Guardian Project, but that's non-token. So what is our creature? 14 non-token creatures. I guess that's probably fine. Uh, you know what? I This Pelt Collector is probably filler too. I don't know. Maybe I should just splash like the Debtor's Transport. It's probably slightly better than doing the uh, the Guardian Project. I don't think the Glaives are quite good enough, but I do like these cards generally. Don't think this is good enough to splash. Alright. Try something like this. Again, I don't think this is some crazy good format, but it's just something to shake it up while we're... Uh, a couple weeks away from uh, Streets of New Capenna. So we have one, two, three black sources as it stands. Probably two swamps is reasonable. Alright. Right now that's five, six, seven white sources. Five, six, seven green sources. We just go up one of each, I guess. Eight, eight. Seems fine. And now this is where I contemplate... Is this even correct? Because our blue, again... Has a lot of decent flyers slash things that make flyers. But I guess if you don't have enough instant sorceries, the Murmuring Mystic doesn't really do much. So. I lose the Azorius Skyguard. Maybe blue-white is good? Is there a blue-white-black deck? Maybe there's an Esper deck here. Huh. 
Esper still gives me the Ethereal Absolution. Blue has a little bit of card draw and card filtering. We go blue black baseline. We get a couple of early removal spells, kind of. And I could just splash the absolution in white. Does that get, it doesn't give me any other multicolor cards over here. Okay, let's take a look at that now. Let's cut the green. Oh, I lose status. That's I guess that's my big loss. I don't think losing camaraderie is all that important. Deadweight, Poisoner. Let's see, slime bind. I don't think is worth it. Two mana, two one. That scries two is probably not good enough. So eyes, chemisters, murmuring, chill. Get that Azorius sky guard. We get the Demir locket. What does something like this look like? Mm, this just looks like straight up three color. This is not splashing. This is straight up three color, isn't it? Although the white doesn't really fit here, does it? Yeah, maybe I'm just splashing like the Sky Guard and the Absolution. Got this other garbage white that doesn't fit. I don't know if we want this as... Well, no, we are going to run black as a main. I get some random early game blue here. I don't even think Dazzling Lights would be that bad then, especially since we have some Death Touchers and whatnot. So black, blue, splashing white. How does this look? Looks fine. I mean, I could probably probably still splash the status off of a couple of green lands. Wouldn't be too problematic. I don't, I don't know if we want to run like Wall of Mist here. But I guess it's actually a fine early blocker if we're doing this plan anyways. Instant and sorcery count. Let's see. Three instants, one sorcery. Oh, so like... Our Murmuring Mystic, just not very good. What does this do again? Bad. Yeah, okay, maybe we can splash the... Uh, splash the uh, status statue. Go something like that. I think that does look a little bit better than the Abzan. Not like extremely better, but a little bit better. This actually gives us five, um, five gates as well. So uh, maybe one of the glaive of the gate um, guild packs is not bad as a way to push through some random stuff. Maybe over like pass wall adept. Or Dazzling. Oh no, I have two Death Touchers with this. Maybe that's okay still. Yeah, I'm down to try one of these um, Glaives. Okay, let's do this. So one, two white sources. So maybe one, maybe two planes tops. One is even, not even, or maybe sufficient. Okay. That gives us five, six, seven, eight blue sources. Five, six, seven. Wait, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten black sources. Yeah, we can go shave one then and go up another white source. I don't think I'm going to run any forests because we have two green sources here and we can still just cast this as status. All right. Try this. Maybe I should be running Plague Crafter still. 
but we'll try this for the sealed Ravnica mixer. Again, same price and payout as a normal sealed event, which is to say not very good. Um, 2,000 gems to enter, and it takes like five or six wins to get your entry fee back. So definitely not as good as the... Uh, the chaos sealed they had last weekend, but we'll give it a shot. Alrighty. Found a pairing, and our hand is garbage. Wow. Easy keep if we drew a swamp. I mean, let's think. I have, I believe, nine black sources in land, plus I have the... Um, the locket, so... I think you can keep this on the draw. Is it greedy? Yes. But I think it's a fine keep. I don't recall this format being, like, super aggressive, or, like, each of the individual Ravnica formats being super aggressive. As my opponent plays a 1-1 one -one for 1, but... I don't think this was a bad keep. Slightly greedy, yes, but not bad. Even drew a two drop that lets me scry. Of course I'll find a black source here. Easy money. It's that simple. Plaza of Harmony. So you have to figure they're running some number of guild gates in their deck. Or just gates in general. Wow. That is the most aggressive Law Mages binding I've ever seen on my 2-1? Okay. Okay. Skitter Eel. I love that card. So they can turn that into a 5-5 by adapting. Alright, I'm gonna pass. See if they level up. If they do, I Grotesque Demise in response. 2-3 Flying with Mentor. Okay. We'll go ahead and demise the eel then. And then we're going to just deadweight the uh, Parhelion patrol. I believe the way it works is this has to have higher power, right? Yeah, so if we give that zero power by deadweighting it, then it can't, uh, it can't mentor onto anything. Oh, this doesn't even have reach? This card is a lot worse than I thought it was. <laughs> sure, okay. Well, I mean, them mentoring on their 1-1's one not a huge deal. Figured Wall of Mist had reach, but I'm just wrong, apparently. Vampire here in pass. Looks like we'll be taking two damage. I, mean, I guess I'm just going to cut this. Alright, I, I mean, they have no more cards in their hand, so... Looks like, feels like we're winning very, very easily. There it is. Nice little 3-3 three, three flying first strike that just neuters all of their creatures. This is not advisable, my friends. Alright, that's basically game over. Ooh, the Glaive looks really good here. Equip that there. Give it Vigilance and Menace. Wow, Deputy of Detention off the top. Yikes, that card's very good. They still don't have much going on for them though. Well, sure. <laughs> They're off it. All right, one zero. So yeah, might might be correct to cut this wall of mist out of the deck. You think a wall of mist would have flying? You know the name. I mean, I guess mist doesn't necessarily float, so to speak, but 
Do we have a better option here? We might not even have a better option. I don't think we're running Righteous Blow. I mean, maybe this 1-3 is better than the 0-5 then, since this actually has some utility later on, but... Eh, I'm okay keeping the 0-5. Am I? No, I'm not. We have Glaive of the Guild Pack. We're going to run this 1-3 over the Wall of Mist. If Wall of Mist had flying, it'd be an okay blocker. Alright, 1-0. Okay, here we are for the second game of this Ravnica Mixer Sealed. On the draw with pretty good looking hand. Remember, Chemist's Insight has the uh, jumpstart ability. So it's actually a double spell for our Murmuring Mystic. Hey, even drew a one drop. Was this his scries when it, when it enters? Sure. Um, okay. I guess since we drew another land, we don't need to bother playing out the plaza on turn two. We have nothing to do on turn three anyway, so we can use that opportunity to uh, the plaza. One one lifelink that they can pump for three. I do not recall that card being impressive. I do recall this card being very annoying. Yeah, Ill-Gotten Inheritance, 4 mana, Enchantment. Beginning of your upkeep, it drains for 1, and they can pay 6 to drain for 4, so... That card was really, really good. Do we want to lead with the Flyer or the Murmuring? I think we want to lead with the Flyer first. Uh, yeah, that's worth keeping. We already have 6 mana here, so... Probably still just going to play Murmuring Mystic next turn. As they exile my Griffin. Go ahead and attack with both now. Don't mind trading with the Hired Poisoner. Hopefully they don't have another Grotesque Demise so we can start getting Flyers. Pretty good removal spell there. Price of Fame. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, Man, that freaking inheritance is going to ruin our day. It might be worth it to just exchange. But I guess let's, let's get some more presents here first, hopefully. Oh, does this kill enchantments? Oh, it does. That's good. Okay. So we can instead uh, statue the ill-gotten inheritance. That's also a really good card. I think that was the best guild mage. Okay, let's get the eyes open. Land. And I guess we'll just kill this while they don't have six mana open to utilize it. Do one lifelink, that's okay. We want to find like dead weight for that guild mage though, because that card surveils and just sets up their draws so nicely. That's probably worth keeping. All right, we can just double creature spell here. So remember, surveil, you look at that number of cards uh, from the top of your library, and then you can choose any number of them to put on top or on bottom. Or Put on top or in your graveyard. Wow, blood operative to exile my chemist's insight. <laughs> Rude. Oh my god, we just won the game. <laughs> Hello, nerd.
Nurse. And there you have it, Ethereal Absolution. Your creatures get plus one, plus one. Your creatures, your opponent control, get minus one, minus one. And you can pay four to exile a car creature card from a graveyard. And uh, make a one, one. So effectively a two, two. Pretty freaking disgusting. Lethal here? No, I'm one short. Um, I know there are wraths in the format. I don't remember them, but I know there are, if that makes sense. Uh, I don't remember how many Wraths, though. But they're playing black and white, so presumably they are in the correct colors for Wrath. Target player sacrifices a creature with the gray. Oh, well. What does this do? In life equal to its power. Okay. Didn't matter. Yeah, Absolution, the Stone Cold Nuts, baby. Let's go. And remember, these are all unranked, so you're just playing with people, I guess, that have the same record as you. So we go up to 2-0. Oh. Okay, got paired there for our third game. Where we are on the draw with... Good enough. Turn one, turn two, turn three, turn five. Rule Guildgate. This is a little bit expensive of a bounce spell, but it does have some really good effects, like. It's kind of almost like a time walk plus a bounce spell. Oh, baby. Opponent with the... Uh... Oh, that's not that's not a guild gate, but... They're probably playing the guild gate deck, huh? Which means we can expect to see some very powerful cards from them, I would guess. I mean, they already have access to four different colors. Five different colors on turn three. Must be nice. Go ahead and slam in. I don't remember all the tricks that are in this format, so I'm not playing around anything. What is this? Three damage to a tap creature, sure. And then if they cast it on their main phase, it would have dealt five to a tapped creature instead. Two two death touch. Do we want a Demir Guild Gate? No, thank you. Lock it. Land pass. And we are probably going to be drawing cards with the locket here pretty quickly. Although I guess the Swirling Torment or Torrent. Next turn's not terrible, depending on what they do. Oh, I remember that card also being really good. Five mana, four, four. But you can choose to get haste or... Wait, what? They're just trading? Haste or a 1-1 one, one counter. They must have more fat in their hand. Uh, I don't currently have black mana for that. Sorry, green mana for that. Hey, that's a good draw. A good draw. Six mana, five, three, then when it dies, I get two one one flyers. Six mana pass. Yeah, three, four flyer surveil two is also great. We're gonna go with the Chillbringer here, tap down their Death Toucher. Smacking for five. And now the tempo is gonna be way too big here. They need something very impressive, otherwise I'm gonna just torrent. Hit him for eight. 
effectively again time walk so and if they do play something big we can always just steal it too 4-1 flyer yeah it doesn't matter Ooh. all right well that's even better because it kills their 4-1 <laughs> Uh, shake my hand. Good game. This card is so stupid. Surveil two, draw two, and then deal two damage to yourself. That that card was great, I recall. So much value. Not sure how they're going to get out of this one, though. They are very, very dead on board. All right. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> and they will scoop it up. For a nice, quick, easy 3-0 start. So yeah, let's double check the uh, the prize payouts. Yeah, and it's not until you get to six wins that you get your entry fee back. I mean, I guess technically a pack is worth, what, 100 gold? Or 100 gems or something? So technically, I guess getting five wins is kind of like breaking even, but... Unless you got gems to spend, I would not necessarily recommend uh, playing this format. Or maybe you just really like Ravnica. Good looking hand here. Glaive is pretty nice on a lifelinker, even though this one only has one toughness. Dazzling Light's also pretty nice on for both of these. Right, if they just block one of these with a three power creature. Or anything with uh, less than three power. Get to dazzle them. Twilight Panther. Hmm. Um, I think for mana efficiency, we actually go with Glaive here. And then turn three, we go Vampire. Turn four, we can decide to equip for three and play out Poisoner. Or equip for three, hold up Dazzling Lights. Or just play out like Griffin or whatever. What does this one do? Three, two, when it dies, put a one, one counter on a target creature you control. All right, fine. I am dead weight confirmed. Hmm. Might be taking a little bit too much damage from these random creatures. Alright, we're gonna keep that because it gives us green for this uh, statue. I guess if they attack, I just trade with the Spine Centipede at this point. Yikes. Yeah, I really don't want to die to just these random crappy creatures, so... Go... Poisoner... Land... Tap... Pass... Okay, that's a good target for our statue. Alright, block. Razzle dazzle him. Uh... Okay, we can use that on the Parhelion Patrol. I assume they're going to put the 1 1 counter on that. Yep. And then we go. I guess we want to get the scry online. Don't 
Do I want to trade my Poisoner for their Panther? Not really. I guess we're just looking for our absolution. Don't need a land. Now we need a land. Mm, I got menace, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, sure. They can pump that for one right now. If they draw a swamp, they can pump it for two. Whatever. They have something for three or less in their hand. Oh, that's a fine draw. Maybe they have another grotesque. If they do have another Grotesque, better that on the Chillbringer than on my Skyguard. Uh oh, looking at their graveyard. Some kind of graveyard recursion. Ah, that was pretty good. Oh, if you control a creature with power 4 or greater... Oh, they couldn't return it because they didn't have anything in their hand. I see. So it's just minus 3, minus 3. Whatever. Whatever, whatever. Enchanted creature has defender and loses flying... I can't say that uh, that wasn't necessarily the best play, but we'll take it. They can go ahead and gain three. We don't care about that. Oh, thank you. Whatever. I can kill the whatever this is called, Sky Tether, but that doesn't seem worth it. I don't think they're... They shouldn't attack. Okay. <laughs> That's good. It's a time walk. Time walk and tempo. No blocks. I'll take one. All right, let's... Doesn't really matter. Yeah, this game's pretty over. I guess on the... Well, maybe not. If they draw and I can... It'll go, no, I have a way to kill an enchantment. All right. <laughs> quality, quality of life, 22. Scoop. I'll take it. 4-0 now? Yeah, all right. Keep it going, 4-0. Abs and goodies. Oh, quick match, too. Nice. <sighs> You'll notice that they've... They've done my poor boy Jace dirty. Look how small he is as an avatar. We are on the play. Hand looks fine. Got a decent curve out here. So two drop, three drop, and then turn four. We can play the plaza. Uh, I don't think we actually need the swamp. 
Presumably, we're going to find another land in the next couple draw steps, so we're still going to be able to cast the Watcher out. sucked. You don't see that every day. Nice little two for one from them, and they didn't even surveil anything in the graveyard, so that's terrifying. Midnight Reaper's pretty good. 3-4 Plier that surveils two is really good as well. Alright, well, tap land's not the best, since it doesn't allow us to cast the debtor's transport next turn, but it is a guild gate, which means our glaive gets pumped. And we still have the play of, uh, poisoner, so... Seems like the correct choice is there. My creature has Menace. They were planning on giving it reach and blocking, but the Glaive gives Menace. No, well, that just undid their two for one that they had. I like their play, but they ended up getting punished. Or rather, I like the idea. The play was not good. <laughs> yeah. I guess we just put him on a two-turn air clock here. Let's attack with the Watcher again, and then uh, play out our 3-3 three, three flyer. They clearly don't have a removal spell, right? No, what are you doing? Now that this is just troll, right? Oh, gosh. That's just... That had to be like a troll move. Maybe they were over it. Maybe they're just like, all right, you know what? I punted so badly. Will me once, something, something, shame on me. Severed strands. All right, that was good. I think we're just going to attack for three here. And then play the transport. That'd be funny if they had a third gift of, what is it called, strength? <laughs> The problem with doing this play is that I don't actually um, put them on a two-turn clock in the air, right? Had I just equipped the Glaive to the Skyguard, they would take five, and then they would need to kill the Skyguard to, to survive. Oh, but they did have a... Well, I guess they're now they're just dead to the Debtor's Transport anyways. Uh, a little bit of an awkward game. I don't know if they were going to be in a good spot anyways because the menace from the glaive, but... Yeah. Ah, the glaive is showing its uh, power there, man. Menace. Menace and pump is nice. Now, I wouldn't run glaive if I had anything less than, what, five guild gates? Maybe four? And I have six, I think? Maybe I have five, but... Like, when you only have two guild gates in your deck or whatever, it's just not enough to make it work. Not good enough. Okay, getting paired for the next round here. We are currently 5-0. On the play with a nice looking hand. Gonna lead with the Orzov guild gate, because now we have all three colors. Now we have all four colors. Night Veil Sprite. Oh, this was one of the best two drops in the format. A 1-2 flyer that surveils for one when it attacks was really freaking good. I remember. I think we had the wait there to kill it. And now we just start slamming some goodies. Scry one. Don't need that. 
see they are playing quite a few colors as well, it would appear. Everybody's got that noxious Grudian versus me today. Nice draw. Just great little flying curve out. If we can draw another untapped land next turn for a three power flyer into a three power flyer into a three power flyer. That would be disgusting. <laughs> yes, it is. All right, two turn clock. Let's go. That's not good enough. And the fact that they played the Dowser of Lights uh, last turn tells me they didn't have a removal spell because they would really need to kill one of those. They did double surveil on top, though. Okay. So they probably found something. Oh, that's a pretty nice draw as well. That makes it so hard for them to actually kill any of my flyers now. Because if they do, they're going to lose a life for each creature that dies. Wow, that was... That was an absolute brutality. <laughs> Brutalizing. Just four power fly... Or sorry, four mana flyer, five mana flyer, six mana flyer, all on curve, all on the play. And now we are a quick little 6-0. and oh, Zero losses, as you can see, as I move my head. Sealed for the win. Okay, that took a little while to find a match, but through the power of technology, you didn't have to wait for it. Only I did. On the play, this looks okay. I'm only running, what, one or two planes in this deck. <laughs> Not a great hand, but keepable enough. Wow. Really? I'm pretty sure this deck only has two planes in it. Tops. Hero of Precinct 1. Uh, yeah, let's just deadweight that. I don't want to get... Well, I guess it's not going to be too much of a run over, but I don't want to let them get any value off of that just by casting even one multicolor card this turn. Like, yeah, that means I don't get to play out my Gorgon there, but I think that's fine. Boros Locket. Hmm. Our draw needs some help. Not really confident here with what we have in hand and what's going on on the board. Classic. Classic. Okay, they're missing land, or they did miss a land last turn, so that means they have five spells in their hand. Not good. Oh boy. Okay, I need to find the green source right now, because Tristani is a beating. Yeah, I guess we trade for our 2-2 two -two death touch, and then gain a life, and they take one. Green source? Okay, well, I mean, can't complain because we also need islands. And I guess the two, like, even if they kill my Skyguard here, the 2 3 holds back the rest of their team still, so. I guess the ideal sequence would be, like, maybe just ripping Ethereal Absolution would be insane. Blue Source for Watcher into Surveilling. Um, yeah, something like that. Okay. Now if they kill the Skyguard, yeah, they get two 3-3 three, three Lifelinkers. Ay -ay -ay. Well, we do have the potential here to get them in combat. Next turn, they're going to attack with these. Then I get to statue the Tristani and maybe eat one of the Tutus. So I'm going to take 7, they're going to gain 7. 31 to 9. 
but we might have a chance here. We are kind of flooding out, and that was certainly not one of the draws we wanted, since we do not need black and white. I guess now, even when I kill the Tristani, they still have the 3-3 attacking me. Or what will become the 3-3. Gross. Gross. We need them to have nothing in their hand, and then we need to draw, like, Absolution. Okay. Alright. Uphill battle, but maybe winnable. Absolution off the top. Let's go. God, they get back their Tristani. Uh, that's a little bit too late. I can trade for the... Oh, this doesn't even work! The, the wording on Tristani. If I steal Tristani, they just get it back. <laughs> well, that's golden. Yeah, we're dead here. Looks like they have a Prey Upon too. Ah, oh, they just had everything. Sure. GG's. Maybe if I had found a second blue source to uh, to get the Watcher online, but... Vistani is a hard one to beat. Yeah, I think the only way we were going to win that is if I had drawn our uh, the early Absolution. Shrinks all their creatures, I can start eating stuff and making a 1-1. One -one, or a 2-2 two -two flyer. Go, go! Alrighty, alrighty. Here we are for the next round. Six and one now, after losing that last one. Okay, we have basically all of our best cards in our hands, so... If we can find some lands, this hand is going to be tough to beat, I think. Yeah. Just lands. Four lands in a row, I'd be happy with it. There's one. Three more? Can I get three more lands in a row? Okay, there's one. How about two more lands? <laughs> two more lands for me? Ooh, as they have the Gatebreaker Ram. This card's nice. Thankfully, it's only a 3-3 right now, so we get to exile it permanently. Yes! Look at that. We're rattling off the lands. Yeah, the Ram is a 3-mana 2-2 two -two baseline, but then it gets plus 1, plus 1 for each gate you control. And as long as you have two or more gates, it's got Vigilance and Trample, so the card is fantastic. All right, well, we got lucky. We kept a two-lander, and we've drawn four lands in a row. Precisely what we wanted to do, funny enough. So they can give that indestructible. So I'm just going to play out the Sky Guard this turn. And say go. Notably, I could try to quote unquote bait them, but if I attack for three, they block, and then I play Absolution, they can still give it indestructible. Okay, I mean, I'm gonna keep curving out with fatties then. No need to play Absolution quite yet. I'd rather hold that anyways if they have open blue mana. I don't remember what they could have here. I'm sure there's something that they might blow me out with, but... Okay. Nothing? Alright, I mean, if they're not gonna do anything, I don't really need to do much else. Oh, Dream Eater, yikes. That's a good one. So it's a six mana 4-3 baseline flash flying. They get to surveil when it enters and then bounce a non-land permanent that the opponent controls back to their hand. Yeah, I think Skyguard or Transport make the most sense. 
They only surveilled one card into the graveyard, which is a little bit scary that they saw three cards that they wanted. I'm going to be very concerned if they just pass again. If this is the case, I'm just going to attack with the transport. I'm going to see if they block with the Sundew and give it indestructible. Because if they just take it, then, uh, then it's got to be like a counter in their hand. Okay, I think I'm okay with this trade happening then. Maybe they just have a way to recur that, but... I don't think going for Dazzling Lights is correct. Once more, I will run out the Sky Guard. And they had Frilled Mystic. Okay. So now we're going to feel a little bit more confident in running out our uh, Absolution. Because I figured they're going to start tapping out now. They can't. They couldn't sit back on that forever. Or are they? Six mana pass again? Okay. Let's go to combat. I'm going to deadweight the Sundew now and see what they do. They're just letting it die. All right, well, that's sus. I'm just going to pass then. They have something. That or they just forgot completely about their indestructible. Nothing again? So the one thing that I can think of is that we saw Demir lock it. They could be having a bunch of uncastable black cards stuck in their hand. I'm just, but I mean, we're winning this race. I don't see any reason to run into another potential counter. There's just no need to. One four reach, huh? Okay, now with only two mana open, it makes more sense to run out the absolution. So I don't think there's like a negate type card, or if there is, they got me good, but. We can pay for that one. <laughs> I knew they had more counters in their hand. Trying to be sneaky over there. But now they just have a bunch of cards in their hand and they're losing on board, so they can't hold up any more counters if that's what they have, you know? Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Nice try. And there we go, nice little 7-1 here in this, uh, what's it called, Sealed Ravnica Mixer. Like I said, it's expensive to join and it pays out the same as a normal sealed event. So if you're hurting on gems or gold, you don't need to play this or you don't have to play this unless you want to. Um, but if you want to shake things up and you want to try a different sealed format, go for it. Um, I don't think it's anything super special, but it's a nice, uh, nice change of pace. So yeah, thanks for watching everybody. Hit that like and subscribe. See you back here tomorrow for some more magic. Bye.